Russia, you not gangster, Mark. In Russia, you bunny. Yeah. Got my face. Mike, what what happened, man? Um, you know, they called some heavyweight out here who's obviously on a bunch of steroids, and he's got a problem with me for some reason because of what he hears on the internet. I don't know, or he's trying to promote a fight for himself. Uh, they like my fighting out here is kind of what it said um, and he you know he got up in my face they got red lines and red tape on the floor for a reason and I so I pushed him out of my face and you know I was having some fun with it we were gonna have a little scuffle I think I slapped him in the chest and um, I called him a bitch and he thought that I was a couple people thought I was talking about his mom they were about to jump me thankfully Alex had my back it was us two versus everybody here but the you know Alex's opponent also came in he was right by me he was saying you know don't bring mothers I said I didn't I didn't even though it shouldn't have mattered what I mean if you want to get in my face and fight me it does it a fight is a fight but I didn't bring nobody's mama in it. It's if it's between me and you, I said that word to him because I thought he was acting like one, which is a female dog in English. And between the language barrier that we have Look, I'm here for Alex. They tried to start a fight with me. We got a little camera time in on this stage which is kind of viral stage we've seen in America. Lots of fights happen here during face-offs. So I was happy to be here. We're fighters, this is what we do, and it's Alex's time on Friday. We're two Americans in Russia, and like Vlad said, thank you for the applause. They gave us an applause for having the courage to come here. And, and you know, the thing about Russia, everyone knows Habib Nurmagomedov and how great he is in mixed martial arts and what the Russian people mean to mixed martial arts and, um, you know, It just shows how great me and Alex really are, and we fought our whole lives to be recognized as the great martial artists that we are. So, did you know who who was Magomed Ismailov? No, I I seen he's him. a huge superstar here, like well, Khabib, you know. Yeah, he's very huge. He's <laughs> like at least two twenty, and I fight at one seventy five. If he can make the weight, we can do it. I mean, I was about to fight him right now. I said it. I want to fight. Off. You want to fight? Let's fight. Like I don't waste no time because I'm not here to fight they didn't give me a contract okay I'm here to help the Spartan fight and I asked the gob Vagabob why are you letting this guy take your spot okay this your this supposed to be your stage right now you and the Spartan and you know but that's what I do I'm I'm you know I uh, d these guys I've seen this stage like I said on Instagram you ain't gonna make me no highlight that I'm gonna defend myself at all times and then there was random guys coming from the back behind me trying to hit me and shit so None you know I'm glad it worked out None of that. so is there any chance that you'll fight bare knuckle in Russia I mean look Vlad knows who to call he's got to call my people I almost fought bare knuckle in Russia five minutes ago because I'm like excited I'm like damn I came to Russia my boy Alex is gonna fight and I'm not even fighting so I was a little excited I was gonna fight for free but that's dumb because I'm a businessman and I'm worth millions of dollars straight up they got to pay me and I'll put on a show and I just did I just gave y'all a taste for free <laughs> so for you there's no problem uh, between I mean about the uh, weight difference 
He's a huge obvious, so there's no Yeah, problem. but that's what contracts are for. That's why this is called business, okay? You're not going to make a name off of yourself, and I come in weighing at my fight weight, and you come in juice to the gills on steroids. I'm a natural fighter, and I fight at 175 pounds professionally, and I'm one of the best fighters in the world, period. So I, I don't care about weight, but that's what my managers are for. I am not my own. I am owned. Someone owns me, and they they get paid a lot of money for me when I go on shows and someone owes them some money right now cuz I just fought for free almost so I mean but I ain't worried about that I get that shit away anytime cuz this really how I am I saw them talking videos talking about fake gangster or some shit listen you don't know me and I don't know you but I'm here in your country thanks for having me Russia couple people being disrespectful but you know Come to America and we can have and and I'm, maybe I'll come back. I'm here right now. I just tried to, you know, I'm defending myself. It's us two, and if you want to jump us, I mean, give me a fair fight, whatever. Thank you, man. Thank you.